Hi everyone, welcome to another stream. So, um, today I'm doing a little Bridgerton sketching sesh and if you've been here before you might have seen my previous stream that were... I was drawing the Bridgerton house on traditional media so that should be up and if not um, and I'll try to keep it up I try to keep all my videos up so you can see them later if you're interested in that if not I'm slowly uploading them to YouTube so there's that as well so yeah continuing my Bridgerton streak there was a few other things that I wanted to do about, um, like, to, to draw about Bridgerton. One of them being Penelope, because I love her so much. I think she's so cute. And I wanted to do a portrait of her uh, since I saw her. Like, thinking about my favorite characters, there's a lot of characters that I like, but I really like her as someone I would draw, like in my aesthetic and all, so I think that she's like the one that fits the best. Then I was thinking that I would love to do um, like some studies and the one that came to mind, like looking through the frames of the series and all, the one that came through mind is the moment um, I wanted to, it to be a scene between the Duke and Phoebe. Is she called Phoebe? I always get Phoebe and it's not that. That's her real name, the actress name, I think. Let me open up. <laughs> Daphne, sorry. Yeah, between the Duke and Daphne. So I don't know why, but it's like been ingrained into my mind that she's called Phoebe and <laughs> I can't seem to let it out. So, since photos that are, I don't know if I should show you. Like, there's none of you right now, so, um, not sure. So, yes, I have a few reference photos, and I'm gonna show you the shots. Um, in any case, if someone logs in, I'll just tell them to rewind back if they want to see the shots. But, yeah, so, basically, the scene that I really like, I have a few shots because I'm still deciding, I'm also still deciding if I should do several instead of just one, like one of sort of a progression. So these are the shots, this scene, and I took several, like there was many more obviously in each frame. But I basically took a few, trying to decide. And like, I would really like to do something like this. I mean, oh, that's not it. So I think that from, I, I really like this too, these frames when they're side by side. And there's some nice symmetry here, so it's really nice to study the scene. But I think that for the progression thing, I would like to let a scene like this, where they both look at each other, then each of them turns either way, then we turn the camera, and then they look at each other again, and then the hand. So it will be really nice. I don't know if it will be too much to draw. Like I will do it as a sort of study, so I wouldn't be like going crazy with detail. But I don't know. I'm trying to decide. And then I have a few shots of Penelope around the series. And I don't know. I'm gonna show you the rest of the things that I have over here. So I have a few shots of Penelope because I wanted to have several references for her hair, her outfits, and you know her. I can't accessories on the head and all so I will probably do a portrait but still I wanted to have then I have this shot because I really like the mood but it's been edited so okay we need to go back let me open it the shots of the house that I used to do the house reference this was just a side shot so I could see any of the details that might be important and then again here are more frames that contain Penelope so I really like these accessory on her hair but I like her hairstyle better when it's like halfway down like it's a half updo so I took several snapshots of her with different expressions I really like her here laughing and I think it will be fun to portray this one so this is the part there was nothing in front um, then here is she sideways and another one 
and I think that's all I have of Penelope. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be looking at the references and pick one to do, I don't know, a few sketches and see what I like. So, let's start doing something, because I've already talked a little bit and told you what I want to do. Okay, so... Let me change the song because I feel like this one plays in all my streams at the beginning and it sort of makes me mad. So to start out, whenever I'm sketching or doodling or something, I like to fill it, fill the canvas up with a base color. I'm thinking in here I'm gonna go with a cream sort of tone, sort of reddish peach maybe. It fits really well with the aesthetics. Now I'm gonna grab my favorite sketching brush, which is this one, and there you can see the name. It's one from Jamila Knopf from school from a schoolism course, so I don't know if she has them any other way. And yeah, I'm gonna open a few images of Penelope and draw her from there. And then I'll see if I want to mix and match a bit or what, you know? So let me quickly go over the images and see. So yeah, definitely like her halfway updo with some hair down. Let's sketch. I'm gonna start with the first photo actually. <laughs> and you know, we'll get on from there. I like to sketch with color too. I'm gonna zoom in, like maybe not that much, but a bit bring the canvas more into view. Like, I feel like I want a middle point. Okay. I usually start with the bigger brush and then change it if I feel like it. Well, I change it more as I go into more detail, you know? So let's catch her out in this. So the first one I'm doing, I'm gonna show you quickly. It's this one. So let's go back to your place. Sorry, I'm trying to get it there. I always start with a circle for the head and add a bit, a bit more. She is in a bit of um, it's not exactly a three quarter view, but she's slightly, she's not exactly looking at front. And Okay. That would be her eyes more or less, her nose should be around here, and her mouth around here. Oh, 
Oh no, that's not an eraser I like. Let me switch it. I don't know where it is. Oh, there. Okay, so I think... No, it wasn't this one. Maybe this one? Yeah, this one. <laughs> I always forget which one is my preferred eraser. But mm, there we go. So... I was gonna do another layer, but in reality, I never usually do that when I'm drawing, like at least at this stage. So let's start adding some more details with uh, with a thinner brush. So I'm gonna get the shape of the face first. And then I'm gonna go in with the details. Maybe for the sake of the stream, it will be better if I put, if I show you the reference here on the side. Like a lot of times I don't work this way. I'll look at the other screen and that's all. But I think we can do this better now. I think this way you can better see what I'm doing.
Oh, I'm drawing on a different layer. Well, no problem. Okay. So I know she doesn't look too good right now. <laughs> Ugly stage of the sketch, as you can see. I think it looks especially odd because she has this shadow over here. That doesn't look like her teeth. I should probably play with her proportions a bit better. Because I always do the eyes slightly bigger than they are. And sometimes you have to play with it a bit until it fits right. Yeah, see that looks better already. Okay, so this line has me thinking that I could just lower her hair around here and do this but with the other hair do I told you I like better because I like her expression here I think it's the best one of the ones I have because in other ones she's just serious or her laugh might look a bit odd in a drawing in others. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And regarding her dress, I think I'm gonna use a list. I'll just use the other hairdos as reference because the top part is really very similar, so. So let's work a bit more on this.
I'm gonna look at other reference photos to see how I will do the rest of her hair now that it will be down. So she seems to have a bun over here. When her hair is down, even though she has some volume around, she doesn't have this part, which is the bun. And we're gonna... So we're gonna change that from the sketch. Like, it's usually pretty big, too. Whoops. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna do this shape right now. We'll add some more details later. And usually, from what I've seen, it's probably is a wig, now that I think about it. Um, or part of it as extensions. Hair, hair around here is not curled at all. It's just like a big wavy thing. So I'm going to do something like this. And the same over here. You might observe that I'm not finishing on here or here. Because that will have... Like, usually it doesn't look good in drawing, just as a little tip, to finish one thing when the other one finishes. So it will look much worse if right now I will do this. Like, it usually doesn't look as good. Because it's, I guess it's just not as natural, but I've learned this tip a long time ago. And it usually just looks better when you avoid pulling together lines when you don't have to like sometimes you might have to but avoid doing it like repeated repeatedly in the whole drawing so these are just sketchy lines I won't do them like that later I'm thinking like they don't do that in any of these images but I always like to do it as a personal thing of mine I think I'm gonna bring a little strand on top of her dress just because I think it looks cute. So a little strand of her hair is pulling down the dress. Okay. There. So I think it looks pretty cute already, doesn't it? Okay. So, um, what I'm thinking about now is the proportions of the face. I'm not fully happy with how they look. Then again, this is the sketch face. But, and a lot of times it changes a lot later. So, I think I'm gonna blurry this one, this layer. Like, make it turn down the opacity a bit. Okay, I'm gonna erase that, by the way. So we don't have anything there. I think I like it like this. I think I'm gonna dress her in yellow. I don't know if I should go in with Liquify. Like, I almost never use Liquify, by the way. Uh, let's see if I can find it. There. But I don't know. It might help. So Liquify comes up in my other screen. Wait a minute. Okay, it doesn't fully adjust, but... What I don't like about Liquify is not having the bottom layer because I feel like I don't see well enough when I'm doing this where the proportions are in, like, as I'm sketching, like, the thing is very, very faint, as you can see. Where's the size of the brush? Might be too much. So the nose 
it's a bit not really working. I haven't been liquefied yet since I reinstalled Photoshop, so yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? I think it's much worse than I remember it here. So I think I want <laughs> it's not getting the pressure sensitivity as well as I thought. So it's doing weird things. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna <laughs> fix the rest over on the next layer because it's not really well I like the change I think it looks better but yeah it was doing weird things and I wasn't going to control this one eye as good as that so I'll leave it at this okay so now I'm gonna, in this new layer, I'm gonna make the brush thinner. And I don't know if I usually take off this. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm not sure if I took off the opacity or not. Pressure sensitivity thing. I feel like that is too harsh. Yeah, I think I, I took it off. Like I kept it on. <laughs> We're getting mixed here. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in closer and work on the face. I think I like it because despite it being cartoony, I can already see some of her in the drawing. So that's usually a good sign. So for whatever reason, I always like to start with that little shade around the eye. When I draw the nose. like it's less sharp than it usually is yeah that's the problem I think I must say the noses are something that I feel like I need to practice more because lately I feel very out of practice whenever I draw a nose. This one's going good so far, but <laughs> sometimes in weird angles or something I feel like I've lost a bit of touch of how to draw the noses. I think we got this one. He has a very cute button nose. So I 
I like to put these lines around the nose sometimes, but they don't always look that good. So sometimes I try them and end up erasing them. Sometimes I keep them. Okay, so that's the nose around there. I think I like it. When working with smiling expressions, you need to be careful whether to add too many lines around the mouth because you can easily make the character look like she's 50. You need to learn to capture her expression. Hey, brush. Okay, stop working for a second. So you need to learn to capture her expression or their expression, um, but not overdo it. So, you know, it looks just right. So I've picked a pose with a smile. I might be doing myself, um, bringing myself and my own problem over here. I could have picked a pose with no teeth because you might know that that's a problem for most artists. It's not a problem, many artists can draw a perfect face with teeth and there's not a big problem with that, but it's usually a thing that we don't like. Even if you can, you know, pull it off, you don't always like it. I usually try to draw a hint of the teeth, but I think that this time I'm just gonna keep it mostly like this. Or even just like it was before. <laughs> like sometimes I do I do draw the shape of the teeth, but I think that in here I like it just like it was. No. It might be me, but I think her smile looks a bit smaller than it should compared to the size of her nose. Am I right? 
let's do the crazy rotating the canvas. Yeah. There's something weird about that. And not only that, there's more to it. So let's let's make the smile a bit bigger. I don't know if just the smile or the lines as well. Let's try just the smile. Just a little bit bigger. I don't know if I've done too little. And this here is not as it's more like this. Rotate it back and hope not to be scared. Sometimes it's better to see a bit, to see it a bit farther away, and I think that it looks a bit better now. Definitely better than in the sketch, so that's good. And I should go into the eyes now, but I'm thinking, if, I'm thinking, um, trying to decide if I should do. The shape of the face first. Sometimes I do that for whatever reason. I already have it more or less so maybe I should just jump into the eyes and stop worrying about them so much. So So I'm seeing here that in the drawing that the brow basically starts at this length. So I'm gonna change it a bit, switch a bit the angle, 
there. Adjust it. It's a little bit better now. Okay, so it also starts a bit more there because it has some blurry image like this there. Okay. So there's brow number one. And brow number two, it's like a bit more inclined. So it's not as high up as I sketched it. I realized this before, but I wasn't going to change it then. So it probably starts around here, but it's not as curved. It's more like so. Yeah. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush now. So the shape is basically the same, it's just a little, a little more on the lower side. I was a bit too harsh on this side. I think I'm gonna move it a bit. There. And then just. Okay, I think that's better. Like I'm copying the shape and I'm not liking it. I don't know if I should go a bit more um, on my, like, just follow the feel of what feels best. Maybe when we add the eye though, because, you know, brows are not always symmetrical, nor they look the same, but sometimes when you're drawing them, uh, it starts looking odd very soon. Yeah, it definitely looks way too lowered, and it's not that lowered. Let me rotate this. So it's mainly, whoops, the inside arc. I feel as this was, should be a bit more like so. I think that might look better.
Sorry for the pause. Had to look something up. Okay, so the eyes now. I'm gonna do them in another layer. Uh, a lot of times I do this just because I'm much more insecure about the eyes than any other part. Looks kind of creepy. Let's sketch behind it. <laughs> so my eyes are always a bit bigger than they actually are, but not too much like well i mean depends sometimes i do exaggerate a lot depends if i'm doing something very cartoony maybe but um a lot of times it's just slightly bigger than they would be mainly because whenever i go bigger i find that i don't like how it looks uh, like i don't know how to explain it but it feels like i go off the proportions and i know that it can be done but i like like the nose and the mouth is more or less in a real proportion so unless you change a lot the structure of the face um it won't fit and i don't really like it as much so i prefer a slight exaggeration um because my style is not as cartoony as maybe some others I also, whenever I want to capture anyone's likeness, it's just harder to do if you're exaggerating a lot. Sometimes when I do my own thing, then yes, I will go a bit more crazy, but... In the end, it still looks stylized enough for my taste, so there's that. I don't know if it's her makeup, but she has like a nice shade that makes her eyes much pointier. Uh, I don't know if it's makeup or a shade, but I like it. I'm gonna have to add that later when I'm shading. Hopefully I remember. I don't know why her eye looks so so creepy when i draw her nose and her mouth she suddenly looked like cute <laughs> and now she looks creepy sorry about that maybe if i add pupil it will be a bit better The pupil too is another thing that I usually draw a bit bigger. Then again, my eyes bigger, so. A 
because I don't usually draw the um, well, that would be called a pupil right the little dot in the middle it will still look a bit crazy until I start coloring in I really like the texture of this brush but for some reason it's not exactly set up as I usually use it and I don't know why exactly I like it like this but there are certain parts where I need a thinner more detailed brush where it bothers me a bit There's a time where I zoom out and compare the eyes. See, this is where I see the brow a bit odd. So, doesn't help that the eye is not done properly either. So, I mean, if you see the reference photo, which is around, well, I'll show you in a sec. Let me fix the eye first. So the eyes are aligned, but she's in a bit of an angle and a bit of a different view. Her eye is like smaller and it follows this angle around here. So I was drawing it completely straight and now that it's turned it should look a bit better. Still the brow bothers me. Now the pupil, which will be around here. Okay. Go back. Sometimes I draw the pupil in another layer because of this. Sometimes it needs a slight movement and I can't do that. Like that.
that's pen for you all. Now I think I'm gonna try something uh, on, an on another layer because. Oh no, what have I done? Okay, so... There we go. I combined the sketch layer from below all together. I was like, no! Line art. Okay, this way shouldn't be a problem now. So, I'm trying... I just thought, I just don't remember it like this. I'm gonna add some lashes now. <laughs> I'm just playing with the brushes because they feel so different. Sometimes after you have Photoshop installed, you might have done something, you might have your settings somehow, and it's just so bothersome when you start again and there's something off about them. Mainly because you're so used to how they work that it just confuses you, you know? So I'm gonna add some lashes. I think I'm gonna keep it soft in pen because she's just so cute and she doesn't have heavy makeup. I always add a lot of... No. That was exactly what I didn't want it to do. I always add more lashes than what you usually need, but I don't know, I feel like that for her it might look odd. Then again, it might look cute, we don't know. I'm thinking about trying this one. This is another one of my favorites. I'm already liking it better. So this one does have a sharper edge and that helps. Okay, so I was wrong. I think she looks cuter now. <laughs> I might have overdid it around here. I don't know. Maybe I should just take off some of them.
So I like the lashes after all. Let's keep them. Oh no. What have I done now again? So I was thinking I was drawing in another layer and I wasn't. Nice. Okay, I'm thinking about keeping the line art with this brush, maybe a bit bigger. See if I like it better. Maybe I won't, but just in case. Everything has much more texture than what I was hoping for. Which is not bad, don't get me wrong. But most times these brushes don't have this much texture. I don't know if this curve is a bit much. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Did she have a dimple on this cheek? I'm wondering. Because she seems to have a little shade around there. I think I did it too harsh. I don't know why, but she's looking more like Ben in my drawing than in the photo for me right now. I mean, obviously it's her on the photo. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just that she has this a bit of a fake smile in the photo and it's probably because of the way the frame was caught. So she looks like she's smiling, but it doesn't look like the, um, doesn't exactly look like the normal smile Pen does on the show, the normal genuine smile, I guess. So maybe it's because of that, I don't know. She doesn't have a chin line over here, but I'm adding it because if I don't draw it, it will look very, very odd and it will look like her face goes down. Um, sometimes when you're doing line art, you have to make decisions like this. It's not exactly like the photo and... But you need to add that or it will look very odd because in reality you know that like when you see this photo you can see that her chin is here right but there's no visual line so in here I want to do it like this I don't want to make it I'm not gonna make it all the way. Just a bit of an indication of where her chin goes, you know? I'm gonna add another one here that again, she doesn't have exactly, but it helps visually. And here I'm gonna add a little line like this. I don't know if my line was too harsh. Let me do it again. I don't know if I should go back to my other brush here and do it with this one because it was somehow softer.
this brush right now, right as it is, is better for things like this, for adding this sort of shadow that helps but isn't exactly too much. There is too much. We don't really see the top of her ear there, I just drew it because it helps place it. It's just right now I'm, I'm gonna do the bottom of the ear that later I'm gonna erase because of the earring. But right now I'd rather draw it. So it gives me a better sense of the shape. When it comes to ears, I just draw a few simple shapes. And I don't usually add too many details. For example, right now I feel like I'm already adding too many details that I didn't usually add, but um, I guess it's fine. She has a little flower as her earring. I think I'll add that later. I'm gonna put together the line art. I'm really liking the process of drawing pen. It feels so chill. I haven't drawn too much later, lately, and it feels good to be back at it again. The streams are helping because I sort of force myself to draw something, you know, for the stream. Like, I mean, I'm not really forcing I was already thinking about doing something like this but it's perfect that I have the stream because I have the excuse to you know just sit down and draw Even though there's no one joining the stream today, <laughs> I don't know why some days this happens. I guess I should put myself a better schedule and put it on Twitch too, so the people that follow me there know when I'm gonna start streaming. But the truth is, a lot of days I don't even know. I just decided that, like that day, or. I'm not sure if I will be able to, even though I might have planned a day. So for now, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to put a specific day for streams. I would like to, but, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. I also wonder if I should do longer streams, but a lot of times, at around the hour, hour and a half, I really don't feel like streaming anymore. Maybe it's because of the hour, right here, where I am. It's 
currently 8 p.m. Like, I would like to keep drawing. I just don't feel a lot of times like keeping streaming. Because I think it's because when I'm here, and especially when no one joins or barely anyone joins, I'm not as entertained. Whereas when I'm drawing for myself, I'll just put a show in the background or something. Or a movie. Depending on the drawing, sometimes I can't put anything that will draw too much of my attention. But yeah, it just, I guess it entertains me a bit more to do that. And that's why I can draw for hours straight. Don't get me wrong, I have fun right now drawing just with some music, but just again, like this music wouldn't be the first, my first choice for my music while drawing. But as I'm streaming, I have to put music like this so I don't get claims for copyright. I know I've just started on Twitch, but I don't want to, like, I'll rather practice this, you know? I like this line over here, it looks odd. Probably today I'm gonna cut the stream before I get to the hair. Because I love hair, but it takes me a long time. And as I'm already feeling slightly tired, I think that that will be my cutting point. That's why I'm drawing the dress too. Because this is like a fast thing I can do before going so I can have a bit more of stream for you guys but it's nonsensical because there's no one there so and if you see the one is because I'm logged in my own stream because sometimes I like to check that everything is going okay. In fact, I haven't logged in in a bit, so it might not even be myself. Yeah, it is. So... We're finishing this dress.
not convinced with this leaf for whatever reason. Maybe I'm just being way too picky. So. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add many details to the dress, but I'm gonna add this line around here. This is so very typical of this period of dresses. Honestly, the shape is much more round. I'm just adding this lines like this because I feel like it looks more interesting in the shape I have. I don't know, maybe not. And I added these lines around here. I don't know if I should keep them or not because I was going to color in until here. But I think I'll just do that later with the color. I realize I haven't added the necklace, uh, but I'm not sure if I want to. Yeah, but they're always wearing necklaces, especially her, because her family is always very, like, has a lot of accessories and all, and it's very colorful. So. I'll add the color, like the necklace, not the color, because um, the word in Spanish is similar, but color in English it's more for dogs, right? Oh my god, sorry about that. Um, so I'll add the necklace, I think, tomorrow, because I'm really not feeling like drawing the necklace and the earring right now. Um, tomorrow, I'm saying tomorrow, like the next time I stream this. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow, it might be. Um, but yeah, and I'll do the hair as well. So I'm going to stop the, st the stream here. I'm stopping to know how to talk, so it's perfect that I'm stopping here. As always, you will be able to find the stream later over on Twitch and on YouTube too. So yeah, there's links to my Instagram and all where I'll post things like this and also the warnings about when I'm streaming because it's so inconsistent, I know, um, there. So you can find things like that there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this later, because there has been no one in this stream. I think this has been the stream where I haven't had no one coming. Um, the only one, I think. Even the first one had more people. Which is very odd, but um, <laughs> oh my god, um, yeah, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed watching this if you're watching it later, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.